You want to join our troop? You want to join our troop? I do. If that's acceptable. That's more than acceptable. That's fantastic. Let me be the first to officially welcome you to the Caravel Traveling... Out of the way! Molten glass coming through! Hey, move your feet! You're standing on the hem of the general's coat. What is death but the next stage in our paradigm? I, uh, I'm explaining it badly, aren't I? This is all very different from what I was expecting. For heroes are not meant to be forged through destiny. Were you admiring my perpetual motion wheels here? I've got big plans for these bad boys. For months now, I've been searching for a way to serve a greater purpose. And I think with you, I've found it. Trust me, Leona. The troop is gonna love you. Starfall, a fantasy audio drama. Find us in your favorite podcatcher today. I think I understand that. I'm sure you'd call me stupid for doing this, but... They never said why they were closing the park. It could be for something objectively harmless. They didn't seem to panic when they were talking with the other campers, so... I'm sure everything is fine. I've come so far already. Two days into the trip. I have to make it to the third campsite, and then I'll turn around. I'm sure they can spare some time for one more person. I'm finishing this trip. Even if it's the last thing I do. It's now just past 12 and I'm finally getting back to Miller's audio files. I fear their stubbornness will get them killed or cause issues or something, but <sighs> they do have a point though. Park rangers weren't too eager to get people out. Maybe that's just me trying to pass some lame, but it can't all be on my shoulders. Anyways, moving on, I plan to finish up with all the files recorded on July 15th, and then head in for the night. There isn't much left for that date, so let's just get going. Ah, I finally left the cave. I wanted to make sure the park rangers were long gone before I continued the trip. Wilson and I are off again, my love. Almost halfway done. I really don't want things to end. I love you. Talk soon, yeah? I arrived at Campsite 3 a lot sooner than expected. The rangers keep calling my radio. I keep ignoring it. <laughs> or turning the volume down so low I don't have to hear them. I knew I shouldn't have taken one. They offered it to me when I got here, since I was alone. I hope they get the message soon that I'm not leaving until this is done. It's stopped for now, which is nice. And there's a stream nearby. I, I think I'm going to go swimming to distract myself. Splash around with Wilson and maybe collect some rocks and shells. I have plenty of time to spare here. I'm going to enjoy it as much as I can. Last night and all... Then tomorrow, we start heading back. Wilson is having way too much fun. We've sat down to relax for a bit. I found some super interesting looking rocks. A lot of little ones for the jar at home, babe. There weren't any shells, though. I don't know why I thought there would be. Maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. I just see a body of water, and I want to collect little earthly trinkets for us. I I'm going to find you a rock. A nice, big one. I think Wilson and I will head to bed after that. I love you. Just got back to camp. I have a fire going. Yeah, today was a good day, love. The best one yet. First good day since you left. 
I'm going to cook up some food. I realized I forgot dinner. I can hear you scolding me for that. Don't worry. I've been taking care of myself. Everyone has been so worried. But I'm doing the best I can. Talking like this has helped a lot. When I see you again, I hope you will welcome me with the same arms I long for tonight. I really wish I could be wrapped up in you again. I miss you dearly. This trip hasn't been easy yet. I don't want it to end. Good night, my love. I'll see you soon. I, I, I think my mind is playing tricks on me. There's no way. I, th I think it was just a dream. Oh, but it sounded so real. Oliver? O Oliver, is that you? Oliver! Fuck! Come on, Wilson! Miller's files become... strange. After this, the... The dates aren't lining up, the length of the files are constantly changing, some appear longer and end up being only a few minutes or a few seconds. It, it's weird. The same thing happened to Addison and Liam. After they entered the dead zone. Everything just went haywire. I, I can only assume that's where Frederick ended up. They were shouting about someone named Oliver. I can only assume that that's their partner. Addison did mention people hearing strange voices from the dead zone, but Frederick wasn't anywhere near there. Something... something went wrong. I... I need to keep listening. Do You Copy is written and produced by Delaney Sutton. In this episode, you heard the voices of Cody Heath as Frederick Miller and Delaney Sutton as... This episode is edited by Delaney Sutton. A special thanks to Kaylee Scott for the theme song. Thanks for listening. <laughs>